Oregon Senator Jeff Merkley tweeted this extraordinary photo. It shows the Electoral College ballots earlier on the Senate floor. There's in the boxes here. Merkley praised the floor staff who grabbed those votes while evacuating the chamber, saying otherwise those votes would have been burned by the mob. And of course, this is one of many images we're seeing today, which shows just how serious the danger that these lawmakers and their staff members were in. We know that this was a dire moment for so many people, and Queen Six has been in touch with many of them, many of those lawmakers with local ties. We go to our Jenny Young. She joins us live tonight with much more. And, and Jenny, you were able to speak with some of them. What have they told you? Well, Jeff, Elizabeth, as you can imagine, a lot of strong words from Oregon's congressional delegation condemning this, of course. But one word they're all using, it's just sad. I guess the biggest was profound disappointment that what was supposed to be a peaceful protest uh, had devolved into some terrorists trying to invade the capital of the United States, breaking windows, crashing through doors, pushing the police. Per COVID-19 protocol, Oregon Congressman Kurt Schrader was in his office at the Capitol building Wednesday afternoon when a mob, angry about the results of the 2020 election, stormed the building. That was my initial reaction. I thought, my God, what the hell is going on here? And Schrader and the rest of his congressional colleagues were told by Capitol Police to hunker down and shelter in place. The Capitol Police asked us to get our gas masks from under our seats. This is mine. Congresswoman Jamie Herrera Butler shared her thoughts tonight from D.C. I think every American should be not outraged and angry or even fearful. But heartbroken. As Congress resumed the joint session to certify the win of President elect Joe Biden, Senator Rod Wyden had this to say from the Senate floor. We saw today an effort by domestic terrorists to try to punch our democracy to the ground, to the ropes. Congressman Schrader called the violence hypocrisy. They're righteously indignant about the, the BLM protests that got taken over by the terrorists in Portland. And they, they, they don't see they're doing exactly the same thing. It is sad. All right. Well, many lawmakers are calling for President Trump's impeachment, saying that he played a role in inciting today's mob. Schrader says that that is just, quote, ridiculous. He does not believe that the president needs to be impeached. Reporting live tonight, Jenny Young, Coin 6 News.